All right, so if we were playing the app game where on the last video, the, the poles were right here at this parking lot. Now see how narrow this parking lot is? You see that? So I'm pulling my truck out like here, going, I got to go over that this way. Now there was a there was a vehicle parked right here, which was too close to the fire hydrant. So technically, the vehicle that was here was creating my limited space for coming out here because the pole was right here. Now I said that it looked like a pole was taken out because of new concrete, but. If I had, if, if we were, if that app was available, the FU Pay Me app, I would have been penalized $144 because I had assumed that a poll was here and it was taken out because, because of that, right? But even so, this poll and that poll, In this little driveway, let me just re-examine this. So there's a truck parked right here. So there, see that? He's parked right there. Which means this spot right here. So I'm in this, I'm this, in this truck, I gotta go, at this point, I have to go around to here and then I got to go this direction but there's a pole right here and then there's two vehicles there's one here and then one over here which is illegally parked I'm sure even right here this is pushing it but there was another one there so the turning range that I had was was slim. It's slim. But I should have seen that pole anyway, regardless of anything. I should have seen the pole right there. And as I'm running it over, I'm thinking it's the bottom of the of the uh the rail, but it wasn't the bottom of the rail. It was the bottom of my truck door. <laughs> All the way from there to there. So that side got pierced through and it was robbed of its its beauty, its structural soundness, its uh, weather, weatherproofing. If it rains, water will get in there now. It's structural damage. And so it robbed it of its natural elements. And then on the other side, because I backed up thinking it was just underneath the rail, the other side got pierced. Not as bad because I stopped immediately this time. Like, oh my God, really? Another one? What is this? <laughs> because I didn't have enough room to get out over here. So I backed out. I backed out. And I went to go in the other direction. So mind you, there's enough, there, all the vehicles are parked here. So I'm going to take this little intersection and try to go this way. And then that pole is right there. And there's not much room, let alone a truck, but I mean, barely even a car itself. This is these some tight streets. So I'll just assume that the poles were put up because people were parking on his, on the driveway, 
which makes it difficult for if someone's parked on the, on the uh, sidewalk, that makes it difficult for people to get out too. So maybe there's been some problems with parking. Because I parked here and then just backed out. At first I parked here, and these two cars were even really close. So I'm like, eh. and then I backed out because people were getting in all of a sudden. So I backed out and then went from here because that truck was parked right here. And then just drove out and had zero room. And I'll tell you, it was a tight squeeze either way you look at it with the size of the truck, let alone just a regular car driving down the street. I don't, th I, I don't think that I'm the first person that filed a claim would be my, the bottom line. I think somebody else is a dumbass just like me. There are so many miracles that have rolled out in the past week. I'm just, <laughs> it's like I can't keep track of them. And I'm not kidding. I can't keep track of them. There's too many miracles. And the Lord put it on me. It's time to meet. And I, I said, well, what exactly is it? Grand Junction was the getting together in Grand Junction for the shipping containers. And I was, he told me he wanted me to skydive. <clears> January 25th, It was not my idea. As a matter of fact, I said no to Michael, uh, uh, whose house it was at, he uh, he said he felt like the Lord was telling him to do a tandem, and he asked me if I would do one. I didn't. Even, I didn't say no. I said not even no, but hell no. I'm not. I'm not gonna skydive into a party that we're putting on. It's just was a little too ostentatious for me, and I, I, I said no. And then tell me somehow you want me to get a canopy with a layover and skydive into the Grand Junction event. I did that with Cat as a witness. For, for those of y'all that have been around for a while, you, you know what happened. So I, it's called casting a lot. I don't, some people have started thinking that you can do that. Uh, bad idea. I always start with the center. Logan Square. If they would be, if they're stars, then you would be meeting underneath the stars. So this is the uh, hit or miss game. Uh, harbinger I'm just telling you a lot of people oh I need my answer I'll just open it no it's not the way it works it's not a gumball machine it's not a candy machine um but this it's lot been a way here. to communicate with me since the night I got saved since I lot two, he had two, me two. read the tags in my clothes anyway long story short I cast a lot and it said canopy layover stuntman right there in front of me and I was like okay well now I have That's to right do it. 18th, so I did between 18th and it was and a very supernatural get-together. The Lord baptized the crowd himself. Very supernatural get-together. The Lord baptized the crowd himself. It was sunny outside. He made it rain in the backyard. People got slightly wet, but not soaking wet. Just to so think about the people that actually went through that. Like if you didn't really know, there's a way to control the weather. And it could be done like that. Imagine how they feel about the person that they were there and they experienced it. I would feel like, wow, you have control over the weather? <laughs> Enough to know they got rained on a little bit, then it was gone and the sun was out. It was mind-boggling. Uh, Lexi, the little girl that was legally blind, the Lord had me lay hands on her and she's got almost perfect vision on her and she's got almost perfect vision uh and there was a whole lot of miracles that just happened it so there's super, two types of arcs nice. that i've seen so anyway he's put it on me it's time to have a get together the containers are at the ark the i don't know if you understand how term. supernatural that is i'd like to show you the bible so you can see what the bible says it says in isaiah 54 and i'll So it was called the cathedral. Cathedral itself equals 222, which is the parking lot. That it's built on. Because I think it's really important. 
So let me do this. And then I'm going to show you guys some news, and I'm going to show you something that should blow your minds to me as a scripture. And he said, For a moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies I will gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. Those shall be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace. Right, right there, see that? The covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath, hath mercy on thee. He says in this scripture, I want to show you this one moment. It says, for this is as the waters of Noah unto me, for I have sworn, sworn, Shabbat. It means properly to complete, um, to swear by oneself, to take an oath. And I don't know if you guys know or understand what that oath was. It was a rainbow. So... That's one North Broad Street. It was a rainbow. So as I have sworn that I would never, I would not flood the, the world again, as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so I have sworn that I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee. So the Lord showed me this before the Grand Junction event. All right, so here's a folder that I've had for a long, 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 long time. And let me just cut the chase. Uh, cut to the chase. Um, I want to show you something. Here is the serpent. Here's the head of a serpent. And there's the serpent in the garden right behind this guy. right behind his head. I outlined it right here. In case you can't see it, I outlined it in dark green. There's a fang right here on his head. It turns into a sperm. There's another fang here made by the shadow. So this is a serpent with its mouth open striking, but the fang turns into a sperm. Um, here is proof that I drew in that picture every line. See all the lines in it? I reversed it. I turned it the opposite direction and drew it in with the sun coming through the window. So it's so... And why is this guy that's standing here with him, looking at it, admiring it? It's the serpent in the garden. Why is that? That the same guy that did that painting did a painting of identical or fraternal twin girls. And the, this girl's hand right here turns into a raptor's, a raptor's face. Watch. Let's see. Okay, here we go. The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, 
after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This came the day after. Oh, this came the day after I told the general public you one revelation. The Genesis one revelation is so profound that it will change the course of the world and what was previously believed about the creation and origin of mankind. The slideshow you will see following the short video clip is to prove that all the data was collected before this morning. I'm pausing. Those folders I just got through showing you, those should be the slideshow after you're seeing this on the screen right now. But the guy that I needed to help me with the slideshow, he was not available today. Folders I just got through showing you, those should be the slideshow that you see coming up next. But you won't see it until he's able to produce it, which will be in the next couple days. Yeah, because so anyway, all was collected. I need to typo that. All the data was collected before this morning, and the Lord sent me on an errand as to confirm the entire revelation. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm giving you a little account of this morning. Because this morning the Lord sent me to Camping World. He told me, you have to go to Camping World. This morning I have something to show you. I'm like, what? Well, did you see the raptor I just showed you? That's a penis and testicles. And the whole system is vampiric. And I'm already. Johnny the I'm Johnny the vampire sunglass guy. And he also gave me Paracletos today, one sent to defend another. He literally gave that to me. He sent me to Camping World this morning to show me. 846. In two more minutes, I had no idea what I was getting ready to get shown. What you're about to see, in order to confirm the picture I just showed you, along with probably a couple hundred other pictures that I'll... I think he's the one that's going to grab me if that bomb goes off. played all the way for at least once. So it's in one more minute. to the chase. Completely gone. The winner stood still. diligently to, to give all the information out. There is probably eight hours of video coming your way. From Penn all Center building, eight, eight hours. It's a big V. So anyway, you can't even think this stuff up, but I wanted to make you guys aware that this is coming. I want you guys to know that we are going to have a get together at the Ark, and it's going to be February 19th and 20th, Saturday and Sunday. Um, well, considering that Click was just getting started, you moved this electric device closer to me just getting started on October 20th 2020 when on that day like had 
showed me the video that Barack Obama, he read the passage to stay still, know that he is God. And then Barack Obama showed up on the 21st of October in Philly on that same day. And the Wooders stood still at 8.48 a.m. Now, if you look at a crucifixion between the 6th and the ninth hour, or between the 6th, 69th week, then you're looking at the day after Valentine's Day, 2020. If the party's on the ninth, would you say the people start to get there on the 18th of February? So that would be 69 weeks and, a, and three days. We know the Messiah is cut off after the uh, after that timeline, the, the crucifixion being cut off. And then, but understanding that sense of cutting by passing between pieces of flesh. Think of us being hybrids. As, think about it. Neither think about it. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed now. Because Seventy weeks have been decreed for your people and your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, to make atonement for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most anoint the most holy place. So you are to know and discern that from the issuing of the decree, going forth to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and sixty-two weeks. It will be built again, the plaza and moat, even in times of distress. And after 62 weeks, Messiah will be cut off and have nothing. And the people of the prince who is to come will destroy the city and the sanctuary and its end will come with the flood. Even the end there will be war, desolations are determined. And he will make a, cur a firm covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, so in the middle of that week, he will put a stop to sacrifice and grain offerings, and on the wing of abominations will one who makes desolate, even until a complete destruction, one that is decreed, is poured out on the ones who makes it desolate. So he shall confirm the covenant of many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice. And the oblation to cease, the grain offering, sacrifice and offering. At the temple, they will set up the abomination that causes desolation. He shall make it desolate even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. The abomination desolation will be on a wing of the temple until the decree destruction is poured out on the desolator. So can you read this? And at the temple... He will set up an abomination that causes desolation until the end that is decreed is poured out on him, like on himself. When they had sung in him, they went out into the Mount of Olives, then said Jesus unto them, All you shall be offended because of me this night. And it reminds me of this passage. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again... I will go before you into Galilee. So you shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. He said it is written. Does he mean it's written that I, meaning him, will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad? Or it is written that, I will smite Jesus, the shepherd, and the sheep and the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after, after that. 
Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I not be offended. Which we already know about the cock crowing, etc. on that. But if you'll, you'll notice, Jesus doesn't quote the other part of verse out of Zechariah that I'll turn my hand upon the little ones. If you turn your hands... Hmm. Interesting, right? You know, your eyes, you have two eyes as well. You have two two eyes, little ones, and you have a left eye and a right eye. You have one witness and two witnesses. If it's true, and the technology that I'm pretty sure they have can literally just see through your eyes, and one side gets your left eye, and the other side that's considered God, the Lord God, gets your right eye. So the pit gets your left eye. Satan gets your left eye. And they both witness to what you're doing your entire life. They are your two witnesses. You have the devil's side and Jesus' side within your spirit also. So then you're that third person. You're the third temple being shaped by two different viewpoints, two different powers, two different uh, leaderships. And you're the one that is the soul. Your soul is what's, that's the target. I already felt about and knew about surveillance, how you're being seen 24-7 anyway. But through your actual eyes, one person rules that left side when they when they see when you see out of it the other one gets the right side so if you say f you pay me then you would do this to your left finger you would close up your your god eye and maybe they do they wink with the right eye more because it's the god eye like f you uh god or they do the left as in allegiance to the moment you step to the door to that spirit that is your guiding light I have two witnesses in my head my left eye and my right eye my left side of the brain my right side of the brain and so the little ones also even if it's not realistic and they can't see through your eyes well those two witnesses that can see your entire life and everything you do anyway they would be the little ones because they're the ones that would be would they would be able to have the best surveillance in the world i and l i and l i isaac Isaac is I and L or in Enlil. There's Inky and Enlil or Enlil. Enlil. There's Adam and Eve in the same body, the same person. There's also a serpent in the garden. That serpent is more subtle than the other beast. But it looks like that serpent is behind. that the same guy we're talking about now he happens to be the serpent in the garden in the presidential portrait that was done by Kehinde Wiley uh, which does portraits of white women with their heads cut off with uh, black women holding their heads I mean no big deal right let's make sure you guys understand what I'm talking about there's a there's the presidential portrait. That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I love you in Christ. But nobody can tell me that's not a T-Rex because I drew it in myself. And it's in the painting. It's hidden the in artist. watermarks. So let's see. Let me show you one more. Let me show you one more thing. A folder that I've had for a long, 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 long time. And let me just cut to the chat. So this says, my father, the devil, is exalted. 9 11 8 48 a.m be still 8 Penn center building 8 
long, long time. And let me just cut to the chase. Um, 9-11, Philadelphia, the, the Waco. And let me just cut to the chase. This looks like Philly symbol backwards, upside down, or just backwards. Daniel, 12 nation flight of locusts. The very center point of 19th COVID-19 street. Under the stars, as an eyeball, a target. There would be a meeting underground. I would just assume that because it's the dead center, you got 12 trees, one of them's chopped down. It's in front of the tomb. So apparently, whoever this tree is out of the 12 was in this tomb at one point, but the bolts were loose. When I went to go see this tomb, all of these bolts are still in it, but you can, you can even see it here. There's only one two well you can't see but there's there's only six of them holding it up so it's definitely empty before the tree was cut down it's 12 in this garden of eden in front of a tomb nebuchadnezzar was cut down lucifer to the ground how you were cut down and there's be a there would be a twelfth. And let me just cut to the chase. Um, chase. Um, Daniel twelve nation flight of locust. Dead center. Whipped. It, even if you're whipped, like a whipped tail lizard. Are you guys meeting here? Because if so, there wasn't a temple here, there wasn't a cathedral here, but now there is. And I was, when I first started the seat, when I first went around here and seen it, I was saying, I feel like, I feel like there's gonna be a meeting here. And this is that third temple that people are awaiting to go to. I mean, I, again, no proof, just, just a hunch, just a guess, because you have L here, but L, even L was taken down. Um... Here is the serpent. Here's the head of a serpent, and there's the serpent in the garden right behind this guy. I so there you go. That's. I mean, nobody else. Nobody else showed me this, but the person that I'm showing you. So I'm showing back. And if any, if anybody else can't show me the identical style of Johnny. Then I'm gonna have to go with that's who it is. There's a serpent behind the sheep being eaten by a serpent. A little slow. Serpent wearing a crown. Now, Adam wasn't deceived, right? Isn't that how the story goes? He just fell asleep. But he willingly went with the Eve. I believe Eve is meant to be full female looking and having the serpent How, did it get, how does that go? The saying? Something about wrapped around your shoulders? Inside of a host body? 
and an atom is in, but also there could be that birthing multiply and bring forth children, male to female, birthing canal. I would have never thought it was even possible before I started to see all this on with this map unfolding. Up my head just went. Yeah, so anyway, the get together is going to be on the 19th and 20th at the Ark in Beach City, and we're going to provide a map for everybody. So. 69 weeks from the time that. I don't know, I just thought Clegg was getting started with something because he said he was getting started. And when somebody can show me that they have the ability to at least just flick a switch and turn water on and off, because that's all it is, that's, that's the only thing that took place in a, in a literal manifestation of it. The water just stopped at 8.48 a.m. and Clegg had something to show me. And he said he was just getting started on that day. And the party starts at the 69th week in the third day. And party on for a few few days. And then you got February 2nd, uh, February 22nd, 2022. Exactly 70 weeks from the time that I think Cleck was serious when he said, I'm just getting started. Barack Obama came to Philly that day. He told you he worked at a Baskin Robbins. He just wanted to let you know that you don't want the destructive action of his appointees uh, getting us away from the real uh, thing that we're trying to do that's devastating people. He's distracting us. On that day, October 21st, 2020, when Barack Obama came to Philadelphia and spoke out in front of the, the, the Lincoln financial field. And here's what he had to say that day to sum it up. doing are doing all across the country. <laughs> Just look at his face. They cut the event short. For... I want to thank Mr. Philadelphia Shroutees for our last name is that, that... All right, so here's a folder that I've had for a long, 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 long time. And let me just cut to the chase um, February 22nd 2022 I believe I said that there would be a party I thought at first the the building would be finished but I'm sure right now even I'm sure right now a couple People can actually live in there. They just have to deal with the, the construction. And back on October 18th, 2021, when I started to notice it, they told me it was called the Cathedral. It's at parking lot 222. And the actual cathedral itself in their own book of Gematria is 222. It is Hitler. It is the dragon. These are hidden codes. Maybe people think I'm bipolar. This is about the bride of the king. 
the king is coming. Click told you that plenty of times. And, you know, of course it it's implying that he's coming, the king. But he may be a clone. The magic eight ball is over at Penn Center Building 8. I mean, there are a lot of fake people, but it's time to tithe. 10% of your earnings that only to the people that run the whole system. Yeah, I mean, maybe you are rat, you ratted out the people from the inside, but you are the ruler of the, the bunch of the, of that system. So you could do what you want. You rat it out on Satan. You could literally bid Satan and then you're Christ in disguise now and you rat on yourself and defeat your own worst enemy. Casimir. Rainbow and Casimir is where the party is. 222. Showed me this before the event in Grand Junction. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. And just like in the scriptures, somewhere. Whoever it was, was thought of to have that taken, his peace taken from him. However, God desires mercy, not sacrifice. Not sacrifice. Mercy. Keep your peace. Let it not be removed. Okay, well, in Grand Junction, the event was on Rainbow. And Casimir, the corner lot. Now, so I showed, I showed over here, um, I showed over here, one, the resemblance of a rainbow, one. Masonic Temple. So if you look at from the corner of Rainbow and Casimir, Casimir and all along have been focused in on this building. Now it's changed. It's parking lot 222. There was nothing there. Now there's a building being built called the cathedral. The cathedral itself is 222. And Casimir is 222. And 70 weeks from the time that Jonathan Kleck was getting started is 222222. Two, 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 two. Six twos. What about the seventh two? The seventh angel sounds? That would be the seventh. We need one more two. Maybe we got another 200 more years to go until the seventh angel sounds. But you can also look at this because when you're here, when the water is up, you see rainbows in the, in the sky. When the sun's out. Female, female, male, three rivers, rainbow, Casimir, two, two, two. Uh, what is this? Char char charisma? Sophia the Dragon.
Cathedral, which is the name of it, Asimir. 17 floors so far. He didn't want to give the name of the place. Yeah. Again, I would have lost $144 because I was judging him that acting. I thought he knew the name, but he just wouldn't tell me. Like, it's anything to even... Like he didn't know. Yeah, I know. Like, it's anything to even talk about that there's a building being built right there. That build back better. 222. The Cathedral. 17th and Race. The Third Temple. A according to the literal Third Temple. But your body is the Temple of God. The ministry, I'll show you how. But watch this. And that's the body of work. Yes. Check this out. And that's what you think it Let's is. Let's see. But this is what you wanted to show you. Okay, here we go. The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020. And then he had me step out on faith and, and proclaim what they were. And they've proven to be 100% every bit exactly what he said. Uh, I mean, no one can fake Highway 50 with a, a rock crushing a guy in his name, and dominant ruler. Just cut to the chase already, will you? The first time. Exactly what he said. Uh, I mean, no one can fake Highway 50 with a, a rock crushing a guy in his name, and dominant ruler. And if you look at... Uh, you know what? Let's go look at uh let's go look at Daniel two. Let's go look at Daniel Daniel two. So let's see, Daniel two, here we go. There we go, about Nebuchadnezzar's king. And in the days of these kings shall there we go, about Nebuchadnezzar's king. Nebuchadnezzar's king, Nebuchadnezzar's king. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. You see that? That's Ella. Ella. My boss's dog's name is Ella. It's the singular form of Elohim. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Okay, hang on one sec. It just bounced to... <laughs> that did y'all see that? Uh, just switched to John three, only begotten Son. Love's great gift, received or rejected. Through this, I don't know if anybody read that on Earth. The Lord was. No, I can't. I don't know how that happened. Something weird just happened. Here we go. So. Hold on. Back up. A second. And something weird just happened. Here we go. So and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Uh, but but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. It shall stand. Look at that word. To sand up. See it? Yeah. To rise mm -hmm. up. See it? To raise up. Because we all got turned up, you guys. It shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest the stone, Eben, and that's the same as when the two stones that I put in the shipping cone, Eben. H six nine sixty nine weeks crucified six nine hour December twenty fifth twenty twenty the Nashville bombing happened at six thirty between the sixth and ninth hour. And that's the same as when the two stones that I put in the shipping containers, you'll get to see those stones. For as much as the stone that was cut out of the mountain without hands, and it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, and the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known what shall come. 
to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof is sure. And I want you guys to know that we are going to have a get together at the Ark. And it's going to be February 19th and 20th, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and again, and a word of warning to anyone that, you know, uh, has the wrong idea. You reap what you sow. So if you show up with the wrong intention, then I'm sure the Lord will make sure your wrong intention turns on your own head. I guarantee it. So anyway, so hopefully no one's foolish enough to do that. All right. So <laughs> guys, I'm exhausted. I'm just so tired. Anyway, I've been working really hard to try and get this done. Um, there is a pile of miracles. Uh, I want, I want to show you guys something that's going on. So you really understand. I want you to, okay, well in grand junction, the event was on rainbow and Casimir, the corner lot. There was a red line. Like this outline. That was coming from Broad Street. And it went right across one. Where Where is it? One. It went right across one North Broad Street. Right to this section here. And then in this direction. So it had the. That red line was the property of the north east section. And it went down here, up to here. To Spring Garden Street. And then all the way down to Broad. But Casimir itself is lining up with the same name as the actual building that's there, which is called the Cathedral. But the reason why nobody will actually believe this, and it's hard to believe anyway, that anything will really take place because nothing ever does. But for Click to get started on that day, and he's the one getting started with 70 weeks, this turns out to be something like that. And there's this covenant made somewhere in between. There's an extended, and after three days and a half, the breath of life entered back into God's people and move on and then john three sixteen is coming up and somebody whoever's playing that lady at the white house she's either resigning or or retiring really really soon and there's a party going on all the way up until the even the eighth day even the eighth day itself would be february 23rd 2022 and that would be exactly listen to them all you shall be offended because of me this night Stephen Noon's 11th year. Exactly. I heard about this 11-11. There's an 11 on this side. There's an 11 on that side. 11-11. Started back in 2011. Same time, I believe. Well, Clegg was definitely up. I'm not sure if you were up before that. But definitely everybody was up for the time of God's judgment. May 21st, 2011, 11th year exactly, and we have this, this war, end time, war, Gog and Magog, is Russia, like, is Russia a key player, if you wanted to 
present yourself to be Russia. Well, what about Israel? Is Prime Minister Netanyahu for the building of the Third Temple? Why did Simon Paris sign a covenant with the Vatican? What will be the seven-year covenant that Daniel speaks about? But there's a seven-year period, but there's also 42 months on this end, 42 months on that end. But who is it going to... It's not going to be status quo, for sure. And when will Armageddon begin? The real, the real question right now, Steve, is you're really saying, when will this end? And there are many questions on people's hearts and news events or transpiring at lightning speed isis has become people's greatest fear and yet the vatican uses isis isil hamas palestinian to hezbollah and even iran as their warriors soon all nations will come against israel in an apocalyptic type of battle israel the very first flag that all these nations are coming to see, to talk to. I heard about Christ being circumcised on the eighth day, 23rd, 2022. I am. I'm enjoying you too. Thank you. Thanks for having me. But I know Little Bird told me that you said you might be retiring and resigning the job this year. You say it isn't so. <laughs> Is it true? You know, I, I don't know when I'm leaving. Uh, this is an honor and a privilege, and I love working for President Bird told me that you said you might be retiring and resigning the job this year. You say it isn't so. <laughs> is it sure? You know, I, I don't know when I'm leaving. Uh, this is an honor and a privilege, and I love working for President Obama, President Biden, President Obama, President Obama, President Obama, President Biden every single day. I love spending time with him, hearing what's on his mind. I, I get rid of you. So you like spending time with President Obama. You may be resigning, but she's resigning. So who's behind the mask is the question. What YouTube personality if any is behind this mask or what what person out youtube personality represents this position uh underneath of you know the president biden however barack obama is really the one in charge according to the way that the script is being played out you know, which i'm enjoying you so much today which she is i really am I mean, he really doesn't enjoy his time with each other at all. You can tell he's, she's being sarcastic. I'm enjoying you too. Thank you. Thanks for having me. But I, a little bird told me that you said you might be. Right, right. So a little bird told you you are enjoying each other. Be retiring and resigning the job this year. And say it isn't so. <laughs> Is it true? I, you know, I, I don't know when I'm leaving. Uh, this is an honor and a privilege, and I love working for President Ob President Biden, President Ob President Obama. Y'all heard it. <laughs> okay, y'all heard that, right? I'm just saying it's it. kind of weird. I mean, I mean, I heard Obama talking to me on that day, so I took some clips. Yeah, I might have taken some things out of out of uh, his mouth, but he's the one that said them. I just narrow. I'll take the words that are important and try to put them together and just let the other ones go because the other ones are just distraction hand signals. All I'm doing is giving you the actual signals. I mean, I just have to say that's very strange that you would say that. Because right here ended up with all this military equipment and it's very weird that, that uh, you know, yeah. that the same guy we're talking about now. I mean, I know I've been talking about recently in my on my radar because of the importance of how things really are being played out it's important to know the the other characters or the players he happens to be the six nine is you're showing this you're talking about 
party coming up on the 18th, 19th. Definitely three and a half days of partying taking place. Who believes it's 70 weeks of Daniel, though? That's the thing. What what What's the party really about? Well, people are meeting up with Johnny. I mean, if this is the party, it's it's uh it's seventy weeks until it's not like you actually show up at that party because it's a defilement party, but you just wait to the seventieth week and the eighth day. The serpent in the garden in the presidential portrait that was done by Kahinde Wiley. Oh, uh, are you saying that's who it is? Is the serpent in the garden the person that represents her at the White House leaving soon because her time's up? Seems to be in a pretty good mood. I, you know, I... I the serpent in the garden in the presidential portrait that was done by Kahinde Wiley. Uh, which does portraits of white women with their heads cut off, with uh, uh, white black men women holding their heads. I mean, no big deal, I right? Think he, I think you mean this being cut Let's off. Let's make sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. There's a uh, Christ. Even the, the head. Nobody can tell me that's not a T-Rex because I drew it in myself, and it's in the painting. It's hidden in the watermarks. So let's see. Let me show you one more. Let me show you one more thing. All right, so here's a folder that I've part. had for a long, 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 long time. And let me just cut to the chase. Um, let me descend down here on Jacob's ladder real quick. And cut right to the chase. If anything, uh, that bombing I showed you, you know, when you turn it the other way, you see the, the mirror image of the, you'll have a, you'll have a 5 and a 55, 555, that explosion on the third floor of the building that's up here. But I, I stopped making second 9-11 predictions of any kind of catastrophe happening in Philadelphia, especially at 17th and JFK, because it's right across the street from the area where that water kept playing games with me, turning on for the first time all year, July 8th, 2020, as I seen some guy in white apparel. <laughs> Can't even make this stuff up, but it really is true. I, I did see somebody up there in that building. Looking out before I went over there, and I didn't, for the life of me, I didn't record it. I thought it was somebody washing a window right around here, maybe on that one. Maybe that one at the latest. So I'm done predicting bombings, catastrophes. on because I already made my last prediction but I, I never actually thought about this one per se I, I don't remember really thinking that if the party happens within the 69th week and for some reason we get shut down like a internet whatever Maybe the, the asteroid, this time it won't be a second 9-11, but it'll be like an asteroid or something that hits. It may be a bomb. It could be mistaken for both, maybe an airplane, but on the 70th week, because the covenant was broken in the midst of the week, which is the 18th, 19th. Could be, it could be broken halfway through. Or you wait till your 70th full week. And on this day here at 5.55 a.m. in Philadelphia at 17 JFK, the bombing goes off. I mean, I can't imagine thinking of any other time that that would take place. At, 
at 888. I wonder how many people are on my computer. I mean, tough to move. Wreck landline, too. Maybe I just need a new computer. Three eights. Cut to the chase. Eight eight eight. I mean, you see what's in there? Henry, Latin for Lord, Christ, Lords, Christ, the second coming. Absolutely. Jonathan Cleck. Satan touches people. Nothing can stop us. Host body system. Double holy eight. Terrorist strike. Eight eight eight. Oh yeah, I mean that would be my final, absolute final. I wouldn't. It's not even like calling it a second nine eleven. It's just. That building, for some reason, was was numbered from the beginning because it's on the back of U.S. currency. And for that to actually take place means it was somebody from the inside that prints the money. And they know about it. Uh, or they would just blame it on me and say, it's because of me spreading fear. And then I go to jail. And then I get out a few days later because, for whatever reason, somebody bails me out. or. Uh, or I just get out, the doors open up. Like because I get three thumbs up from the three unclean frogs at one point. This is all on the internet. And it will never again happen. There you go, the God of the Old Testament. The God of the New Testament is different from the God of the Old Testament. In this script. In the Bible itself, God is God. The interpretation of God in the Old Testament is horrible because everything's literal. But the New Testament is just the understanding of the spiritual and literal. So for someone to be decreasing this year, they would be decreasing only because their their job is done. It ain't like they failed. It was just revealed. And that's a complete success for it to be revealed. You just ascend and descend on Jacob's ladder. That video that proved that out of these 69 holes, the winter started out of nowhere all year. At 8.46, the first 9-11 tower got hit. Same time, George Floyd died for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. He was kneeled upon. But that's according to what's on record between the 6th and the 9th hour. This, this video, the video itself is a ladder to take a look at and know that, well, there is a communication between that person on the, on the ground and somebody that we know that runs the whole system. So why is he talking to him? That's the real question. And let me just cut to the chase. Um, here is the serpent. Here's the head of a serpent. And there's the serpent. If you're the Mahdi, which is the Islamic uh, Messiah that's going to lead the Islamic Jihad and turn the whole world to Islam, if you're... that guy well then it would be smart to leave it all over there and make it look like oh biden just screwed up he's just a dumbass but you'd have to be the guy pulling the strings if you to do that right let me show you a video real quick okay here we go A short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This...
pulling the strings if you to do that right mm -hmm. let me show you a video real quick because i didn't i don't pull i mean not literal strings i couldn't do that i couldn't flick a switch and communicate with ai to turn that water off and then let it rise back up again because it only stood still video these are our show notes right here let me show you our show notes and let me show you what's in them 555 Be retiring before I, before I get rid of you. Who's President I Obama? So much. Oba. Okay, pay very close attention. This is Jean Saki, who is just a lunatic. She's Jean Saki. The only other Jean I know is she's a sick, sick woman. She's a liar. She lies all the time. The Bible says if you're a liar, you're a child of Satan because Satan is a lot a liar and the father of it. So let's hear what she says. We all know she's a liar. She lies all the time, constantly. I'll circle back to that, she says, all the time. She just lies and lies and lies. Let's hear what she said. Before I, I get rid of you, which I'm enjoying so much today. I really am. I'm enjoying you too. Thank you. Thanks for having me. But I, a little bird told me that you said you might be... Thanks for having me. A little bird told me. Over and over and over and over and over again. And here is the Scorpions album called Moment of Glory. Moment of Glory when the queen, the reptile that started the whole host body system is up and running. And I can tell you who that is. The same guy that I showed you in the presidential portrait as a T-Rex. The 18th, 19th, uh, well, the 19th and the 20th, I will post on here uh, a map and all that as soon as we get it. And a little closer to the date, I'll make uh, all the information available where that's going to be. And change it, you would say that. Um, it's very weird. Um, I mean, I just have to say that's very strange that you would say that. Um, it's very weird that these guys right here ended up with all this military equipment. Whoever that person is behind the mask or representing is really working for Obama, according to the script, but because Biden's in place. So whoever's playing Biden, she is under him, but not really because she needs to recognize that she's really under Obama's care. And it's very weird that, uh, you know, that the same guy we're talking about now he happens to be the serpent in the garden in the presidential portrait that was done by Kehinde Wiley. In other words, he's behind Barack Obama. He's behind him. Like, behind him. Get behind me. Cut to the chase. Um, here is the serpent. Here's the head of a serpent, and there's the serpent in the garden right behind this guy. Right there. I want to thank Madison Philadelphia Trautis. What our last name is. That get together is going to be on the 19th and 20th at the Ark in Beach City, and we're going to provide a map for everybody so you can get there very easily it's it's not hard to find it's right off interstate 10 and uh i just encourage anyone that wants to come and see miracles and be part of a fellowship and get to see and when it's off of interstate 10 you have a v and a v which is representing the the five and the five so there's five wise and five foolish. There's ten there's ten kings, but there's also the dragon, the red the great red dragon has ten of those kings 
the Statue of Liberty stands on top of an 11-pointed hendectogram. So if she's standing on top of 11, then that would be considered 12. There is a great wonder in heaven. There is a woman that she... Well, there, there's, a, there's another great sign in heaven where a woman actually has 12 stars above her head. So once that's filled in with the 12th, the shipping containers the shipping containers are literally miracles they're like harbingers themselves the lord had me do it he designed them himself he had me just do the artwork but he just used me to do the artwork it's like a location which is about a mile away down the street from the ark and they have a facility there that has parking and uh, outdoor fire pits and people could hang out and meet up there because the ark itself wouldn't be able to get a bunch of cars in and stuff like that. We can get some cars parked on the street, but we'll have a location there that people can meet up at just like we did in Grand Junction. And we will you provide really a map, a much. way of seeing where you are and, you. and the whole deal. Now, here's another thing in Grand Junction, but there's a I mile, told everybody that came to Grand Junction, it's 1.9 miles total from the William Penn to the top of the art museum. So from here, the only parking lot is Peter's, Peter's uh, parking lot by the Benzwanger Triangle. And then around the back or at the top head of the, what is this, Wabbit? Head parking lot is up here. Casimir, the corner lot. The Lord told me to look up the meaning of Casimir. So here you go. Casimir, see C A S I M I R, Casimir of Slav Slavic origin. It means proclamation of peace. So now try and wrap your brain around this that the guy that the Lord wrap told to skydive in to Grand Junction with a parachute that says. Those antennas there at the art museum. If you if you actually did skydive into the parking lot, you have those two antennas. And the V as you circle back. I'll circle back as you make a U-turn back to the ark. That the Lord told to skydive in to Grand Junction with a parachute that says V for vengeance. He says, I've made a covenant with Noah, so shall I make a covenant with you. Of this is the critical part and the part. He says, I've made a covenant with Noah, so shall I make a covenant with you of everlasting peace. And neither shall my covenant of peace be removed from thee. Do you know? How and neither shall my covenant of peace be removed from thee. Do you know how impossible that is? That the corner lot where the shipping containers were was rainbow. And Casimir, as I made a covenant with Noah, rainbow, so shall I make a covenant with you of peace. My peace will not, of everlasting peace. Casimir, I see. So you made a, you made a covenant with Noah down at one. One North Broad Street. Rainbow at one, and then Casimir is actually at 
a corner a 2 2 2 parking lot. There's L, but L, this was taken down. 2 2 2 parking lot. Cathedral, Casimir, 2 2 2, which is also 2 2 2 and 2 2 2 twice. And it's the 70 full week since Click was getting started on that day when that water stopped at 8.48 a.m. as Barack Obama read. We will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river, the stream shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And let me just cut to the chase. Um, cut to the chase. There's the corner of one rainbow, rainbow one, and the other corner of Casimir. So as, as God made a covenant with one and won't remove his peace, he makes a covenant with Casimir. You did a word search. Uh, if you have a one, some type two, of Bible three, tool and you put in five, little ones, six, seven, and you were to run that in, you're going to get a lot of different nine, passages uh, through 12, Genesis, 13, 14, through Exodus, 15, everywhere, right? And you always, normally when you 16, get it, you're going to get something like tough being for little ones. Uh. Hey, Jonathan Click, I, I got to tell you something. I really love you. Plaza, Love Park. See what I do sometimes when I don't know and I need an answer, and there's no way that I'll be able to get that answer by opening up a 800,000 word book. It's almost like saying there's no way I can open this book and it'll show me. And then I told the Lord that. I said, if you want me to do that and you really want me to do it, I'm going to open this book and it's going to tell me somehow you want me to get a canopy with a layover and skydive into the Grand Junction event. I did that with Cat as a witness. You're going in 69th week in the third day. Starting the party like there's literally going to be a party on on that day and that weekend for about three and a half days after that you, you know what happened so i it's called casting a lot i don't some people have started thinking that you can do that uh bad idea i'm a i'm a harbinger i'm just telling you a lot of people, oh, I need my answer. I'll just open it. No, it's not the way it works. It's not a gumball. 
we're going to go to Isaiah verse 54. And the Lord, the Lord sent me to Isaiah 54 to show me the, the, mm -hmm. the get together in Grand Junction. When I hear of the number 54, I always think of who would be, who's 54 years of age as of right now. And because Jonathan Click, I believe you, I think you said you're 59 and your birthday's coming up 3 16, 2022, and you would be 60 years. Here's what he gave to me as a scripture. And he said, For a moment I have forsaken thee, but with great mercies I will gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee. For a moment, but with everlasting kindness, I will have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. For, for this is as the waters of Noah unto me. This sounds like you made a covenant with Noah at some point. One rainbow, North Broad Street, Masonic Temple. Let me, let me enlarge this. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. And then somebody else gets a covenant made with Casimir 222. That could be possibly be the timing of the three and a half days. There's a covenant made and then there's a covenant broken. Or it's made, but then halfway in the actual physical week of seven days, it's broken. <clears throat> For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth. So the waters of Noah going over the earth. If there is any deception of any sort going on in that, in that boat from the other side, other side's interpretation, then you wouldn't want that water to go over anymore. Also, that's the, the fear of the world ending. And then when it actually takes place and it's over, those waters don't need to go over to earth anymore either because they've accomplished what they are set out to accomplish. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace, right there, see that? The covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord that moved, saith the Lord that hath, hath mercy on thee. So I have sworn that I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee. So January the Lord showed me this before the Grand Junction event. His video today is January 25th, 2022. The Lord showed me this before the Grand Junction event. And the event was at the corner of Rainbow Avenue. One. Rainbow Drive. And the event was at the corner of Rainbow Avenue. That was the covenant. The Lord made with Noah. Originally, at first, in the spirit. That he would put a rainbow in the sky. The rainbow was the covenant of peace, uh, uh, the covenant with Noah. That Anything on a computer is also in the sky. It's in the airwaves. It's out there. Look up. It's everywhere. Water should no more go over the earth. It was a rainbow. The event in Grand Junction was at 154 Rainbow Avenue. And the Lord told me, Jonathan, I want you to look up the number one. 195 Neo Magog Baraka Back end deal. However, Canada failed. Anybody from Canada come down? 
to live at the cathedral around February 22nd or so, 2022? Or are they there at Casimir? That's the meeting place. Pierce. Look, he takes over right at because they won eleven. That's eleven to ten. So at the very end of the tenth year is the eleventh. So that would be eleven, and then the beginning of eleven. <clears throat> the event in Grand Junction was at one. 54 Rainbow Avenue. And the Lord told me, Jonathan, I want you to look up the number one. The biblical meaning of the number one is the number one is the only number that stands alone and it encompasses all other numbers. It is the number of the Lord God. It stands alone yet encompasses all other numbers and it is the unity of the singular God. And then he told me to look up 54. He, I, he told me to type Bible meaning of 54, which I so, in other words, don't type in 54, just 5 and 4, type in 54. And it brings you to ID 7D, ID 70. You're going to need an ID when you go to the party. And your ID would be... 7D. Here's my ID. 7D. Okay, come come right on in. Come right on in. Heaven and hell. Calvin. Calvin Klein. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. So this is 54. You got one over there and then 54 in this direction. Human alien hybrid. So I think that would be the most appropriate one for it to be the father of truth. Gets the Gets to vote. I forget what my address was, but it was Park uh, eight, 8 something in Bristol. I remember that. But you got Benjamin here. And Barack O is the Satan host. Ha <laughs> ha. Like he's the main character. And anybody else that he is, they're wearing a mask. Or he's wearing a mask of someone else and he's the real like where is the real person underneath of everything what does that person look like is that really him if so he would be a super duper angel to my servant noah with a in the rainbow was that covenant so have i sworn that i would not be wroth with thee or nor rebuke thee and I neither shall I the covenant of my peace be removed. See the, the compact. Look what it means. The in the sense of cutting by passing between pieces of flesh. Think of us being hybrids. As, think about it. Neither Keep shall the peace. covenant of my peace be removed. Now. Either way you look at it, God desires mercy, not sacrifice. Because his purpose was to make one new man from the right side up, you and the upside down you. For me to be having another get together in a place called the Ark. Well, what happened? Think about Rainbow, which was the covenant the Lord made with Noah who put everybody in the ark and they were okay because he and it, with the spirit spirit connection he did first. what the lord said 
everything again there's things are played out with the script but it also happens um spiritually now the the two shipping containers ended up at a place called the ark by a bizarre set of circumstances function they decided to leave and the shipping because he did what the lord said now the the two shipping containers ended up at a place called the ark by a bizarre set of circumstances because Michael and his wife, who were living in Grand Junction, they decided to leave. Potentially, and the shipping containers were potentially at risk of being part of a property uh, sale, or if anyone defaulted on the mortgage, then the then the containers would be in trouble. So the Lord told me, "Is that how? Is there two containers underneath my?" my house there's a property dispute and this house is going to get sold and i gotta get out of here i plan on being here last year anyway sent them to the ark i had nothing to do with starting the ark nothing i just went and laid hands on uh karen sullivan karen. and uh, she was cured of stage four cancer her husband she... jim who used to hate listening from, to my uh, videos he got converted. i know jim he's a good friend of mine now he Same started there. the ark as uh and it stands for Angel recover uh, refugees from New Hampshire rescue vehicle and there's a blockage it uh, a pass on Highway 50 and a big boulder rolls off and crushes this guy in front of us and the, just right in the on the street in front of us the guy gets crushed by a giant boulder it's crushed he stops and looks at my vehicle and he looks at me and I said hey I heard a guy just got crushed up there. Okay, and, he, and he said, yeah, you look like you got pretty good intel. <clears throat> I kind of chuckled a little bit, and I said, I do. And uh, he said, well, why don't you get out of line and go back the other way, you and those containers? Because I asked him, I said, can me and these guys get out of line? He said, mm -hmm. you guys go ahead and make a UE, and y'all go the other way. So we did. So I made a U-turn, a On Highway 50, and 50 means, uh, let's let's look, uh, the Lord said, look up 50 in the Bible. And I was like, Allah, if you look it up, Canada, the Canada is already moving there, family is there. Meek will inherit, inherit the earth. Ella. But May 21st has always been the date stuck in my head. Always means a lot. And 36, 396. Hit the nail on the head. Uh. My father is rescue, right? It means my father is rescue. And I'm in a search and rescue vehicle making bones. a U-turn with two containers that represent the bride of Christ and the judgment seat. Just think about that. Do you two understand places. what an insane miracle that you is? You make a U-turn there. The shipping containers that there. were at Rainbow and Casimir, Covenant of Peace. Uh, Rainbow and Casimir, Proclamation of Peace. Which one is it? Or are leaving Grand Junction, going to the Ark, and they make a U-turn, and I'm leading them in a search and rescue vehicle? Yeah, you can look at that either way, because either way you can go and make a U-turn and go back to the Ark, as this being their, their Ark of the Covenant, and then having the actual Ark, like Israel having the actual Ark, the Spirit, and this being, maybe it's named the Ark because it'll take care of people. And I did say before, like, why don't they have a place that you can just have showers and clean? And homeless people can get bathed. And it doesn't cost anything for the people that run the planet to make that happen. It's only if they felt like it. But if you're leaving Grand Junction... 
at one. And you go up here to make a U-turn towards the arc. You can turn back around. Or you can go from here heading towards the arc and turn back around. If that was Grand Junction back here. Or you're going up in this direction, making a U-turn and turning back around because of that arc. Because that's past Jordan, and I believe Bethany's back there. And you want to just go back. Because this covenant here, I feel like this is the covenant that's going to be broken. It has something to do with Canada, Canadians. Some other way it fails. You know, because Gematria told me. And the spirit. And click. I'm leading them in a search and rescue vehicle with a right side up triangle and an upside down triangle. Upside down, right side up, upside down triangle in the same area of the possible U-turn spot. Because either way, it's in a dead center. And Israel is down here. And this is up here. The containers are there now. We've, we've worked on some buildings and we've made things, you know, uh, workable to where, you know, there's bathrooms and places for people to use a restroom, take a shower, get clean, whatever. Yeah, there you go. And there's a, there's a small group of people that That'd are be nice, right? at the ark, not very many. There's a family from Canada that was being uh, kind of herded into the Canadian uh, insanity, and they came down, and we have Zach there, and we have a couple other people. But anyway, we just Canada, the on the very night that I was revealing that the Lord told me, if you go and you show them what I've shown you, I will show up and prove it's true. And if you don't believe me, when you get to the when you get to the uh, event, ask Corey and Zach. They were in the car with me. I was like, guys, here's the deal. The Lord's telling me that if I just step out on faith, I'm going to show you something you probably won't believe. But tonight when we're done working, we'll go back to the ark. And I'll reveal to you what the Lord showed me. And I start buzzing. I said, the Lord said, he'll show up and prove it's true. Something you probably won't believe. But tonight when we're done working, we'll go back to the ark. And I'll reveal to you what the Lord showed me. And I start buzzing. I said, the Lord said, start buzzing. Uh, so the buzzing is all around the microphone. The heater, fans, air condition. There's a vibration on all of it, at least in my house. Because when the heat turns off, it you stop vibrating. When you lay and you focus, you'll feel it just a little bit. I think we're being rattled to death. I think this is... This electricity coming in your direction can, if you spend too much time, it'll get you, you to start buzzing. So my body's buzzing, but it's not like a good feeling of buzzing. I mean, it sort of is because it feels like it's been ramped up more. Maybe just because I focus in on it more and realize that everything that turns on has the potential to slightly shake the ground and all of a sudden you just are like this and you, you don't know why until something shuts off and then it, you continually do tests. So I've been testing things out to find out where the cause of it is and I'm leaning towards the elect electronics. I'm leaning towards you know, heating systems that are loose if they're loose, they can shake the, your house. They can shake you all night long. Fans spinning, shake, rattle, ever so slightly. And electricity seems to go through your body. So maybe that's what that EMP shield is for. 
Maybe that's why people actually do wrap themselves up in tin foil, like the tin can, uh, like the tin man. I wonder why he was wrapped up in in foil or tin. Try to get. away from the frequencies so yeah my body's buzzing right now the electricity is going through my body i feel it the fans off or the heaters off but i'm in front of two computers two tv screens some lights a microphone that probably has a lot of a lot of force like right at your chest area per se and um, when I was about 40 minutes in I kind of started to feel a little sick of the the, the the motions and I realized well I got too much stuff to get out here on this one video I know it covers every imaginable thing that I believe like was looking for and so even if this was all some kind of gag what an honor it is to, to be the person for all those tricks to be played on and to be introduced to a, a whole nother realm of life that you could only see through the spirit and then it manifests in the flesh. But it's taking a lot of energy to do that and knowing that there's ways of ramping things up and then that person will be buzzing are you buzzing <laughs> is anybody buzzing or is it just me maybe it's just me maybe i'm have cancer that's dying and and i'm gonna just die in my sleep couldn't be so lucky for that to ever happen people that die in their sleeps in their sleep they just fade on over to the other side but the real question is do people lay in their in their bodies when they're dead for three days until they go to the morgue and then those the ones that took us in the back room as we were babies and shoved a, a chip brain soul box in our right in our forehead like <clears throat> and then we have a soul now and the way to get that back out is taking it out because the baby's crying anyway. Does you know, nobody really knows it's a chip being implanted a brain and it becomes a computer uh, soul. And they may either take your brain and put it in another body or as it develops or that soul box. So I don't know, that would be pretty weird if you sit there for three days dead and they have to come and take you out of that in order to be put somewhere else to continually think. And prove it's true. And so we went out there, just like he told me. The clouds made a ring around the moon. It made a, a pupil, an iris that was colored. The iris was actually colored. <laughs> and the moon made this eye in the sky. And all the stars were still the stars were still out. When I say all the stars, there's plenty of stars still all out and visible. And the Lord told me, look up and show him. And he showed up. And I was like, wow, that's insane. So anyway, I documented all that. That's part of the last video or two videos ago or something. So I've been in, I've been over there at the Ark diligently plugging away, trying to January get January 25th, done. 2022. Um, Cause he told me we are going to have a get together and the get together is going to be, the get together is going to be on the 18th. Hang on one sec guys. Let me, let me get these off my head. Just yeah. So anyway, the get together is going to be on the 19th and 20th at the Ark in Beach City, and we're going to provide a map for everybody so you can get there very easily. It's it's not hard to find. It's right off Interstate 10. and uh, Which is 5 and 5. And then the two witnesses. And Cain's two witnesses. Moses, Moses sent the 12, and then the two. Caleb and... Um, I don't want to misquote scripture, but those other two witnesses went out with the 10. And the 13th. Something about Judas was 
yeah, you're going to roll over them, but not, not as the holy place that, not as the dominant um, interpretation of it, because that's not, that, that wasn't, this is a sacrifice. God was, wants mercy. So that, that holy place isn't going to be the dominant understanding of the, the world, how it continues on, or else the Antichrist system would be in full effect forever. So be, thankfully, the covenant will be broken in the middle of the week, and it's a new covenant in a better direction. Uh, I just encourage anyone that wants to come and see miracles and be part of a fellowship and get to see the shipping containers. The shipping containers are literally... Is that the two uh, Camaros in there? And then there's that part. Well, there's a King Neb. There's King Bel Shazar. And Daniel's belt to Shazar. See, the belt, right? Belt, Belshazzar. So there's an offering of gifts for the second one who's in charge, who's trying to give you gifts in order to stay third in charge, but maybe you're second in charge. And, but they're still going to dress you in a robe and mock you anyway. Do the same thing with the crown of thorns. They're going to give you a purple robe. You put a gold chain around your neck, even though you said keep it. But they did it anyway, and you were proclaimed as third in charge. So there is a Joseph that's second in charge. It may be an evil Joseph. It may be the good Joseph. And maybe that Joseph is the one that offers the that position. But he's really offering you your position that has been expired on his end because you're going to take the spot anyway, like in that kind of ranking in heaven. They're like harbingers themselves. The Lord had me do it. He designed them himself. 